All right, we've got our stuff all filled out at this booth. I think we're ready to go. Only a few hundred feet in and we're putting on our skis. Not bad. There's horse camp. This is where we make sure we stay left. Super pitted out right here. Hope it's not like this all over the mountain. Got the cool shadow of the mountain in the background. We find ourselves hiking on dirt on this supposedly glorious ski route. We might go down another way, but we're probably 2,000 feet in, so only like a Mount Whitney left to go. <laughs> well, we got to the main gully that we intended to go up and back down, but we may not go back down it. At least it reaches the top. Just a short little traverse, and then it's snow all the way up. Daniel's first moment in the sun, all day. There's Daniel going over the lip. It's not the summit. It's just a lip. Woo, the wind is ripping! break in a spot with a lot less wind. Still windy. <laughs> Still windy, but compared to what we just did. Oh, sweet. Cool areas down there. Probably, probably can't tell in the camera, but there's people over there like crawling onto the ridge because the wind is so much over there. <laughs> and they're crawling onto the ridge. <laughs> Sure looks like still a lot left. <laughs> Hopefully this one is shorter than it looks. It's probably not though. Beauty. All right, almost there. I think it's not as big as it looks. One cool thing about this spot is I can like smell a sulfuric smell. So some residual activity from the volcano apparently. There's Daniel. I don't know if you can tell right there, there's a little fumarole getting a strong whiff from it. It's very sulfuric. I kind of like it. It like reminds me of hot springs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. We're close enough to the top, I'm just gonna walk like this. <laughs> Woohoo! Out of boy. Yeah, nice. Just off the summit, we talked to some other climbers that had come up Avalanche Gulch, and they told us that the ski conditions over there weren't that great. So even though we had some concerns about the way we'd come up, the West Gully, we decided we'd go ahead and chance the descent over there. This is the 
cool snow field so high up here I like crossing it reminds me of the football field on Denali pretty cruiser down this part of the trail just boots no crampons it's a good trail for it really back to where we stashed our skis we just gotta trek over that hill and then it's downhill the rest of the way we might have to cross some rocks especially we know there's rock crossings at the bottom but it'll be worth it I think you'll agree when you watch our descent it was indeed worth it I don't know. Dude, this is so good. Point it straight. All right. Nice. Woohoo. Oh, it's so good. It was about here when we realized we were in for one of the best descents of our entire lives. It's really good. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <gasps> Here comes Daniel. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm just giddy. Look at that. Yeah, he's making it look good. Oh, yeah. Atta boy Daniel. Sweet. I am just like so delighted right now. The snow is so good. Look where we came from. It's so rad. <laughs> and then we still got a lot to go. There is some parts we're gonna have to just boot and it'll suck, but I'm just still so stoked on this line. It's rad. Nice! 
Nice. We came down from Shasta. Thank you, Shasta. That was an awesome ride. Shasta was magical. And now we just gotta skirt this corner and start like traversing all the way back. There'll be some booting in there, but we're ready for it. It was so worth it. It was amazing. <laughs> Boot. We get some little traverses for now. And then it's just back to the dirt. Here's another snow field. And another dirt field. Do some more dirt, but this last patch I have a good feeling about. I think we can get all the way back to our shoes from here. Let's hope so. I can deal with this. Oh. We got dried up a little bit. Here I am just skirting some more hill. I think, I think we're really home free this time. Unlike the last time when I thought we were and we weren't. But this time I think we really are. Passing by this again. Oh my gosh, yeah. Tons of people on the way up. Pente. Well, Shasta really won a special place in my heart. It was some of the most enjoyable ski mountaineering I've ever done in my life. I couldn't recommend it higher. Thanks again, Mount Shasta.